Hey there, welcome back to Storytime TV. I'm Karen, Peyton's mom, and today I'll be reading a Skippy John Jones book, The Great Bean Caper. Now these all aboard reading picture reader books are shortened versions of the Skippy John Jones stories. The regular books are much longer and the ones Peyton had are actually really big hardcover books. So this will be a shorter version and it also has little pictures inside in place of words. So follow along and see if you can figure out what word should take the place of the picture that you see. Based on the Skippy John Jones series created by Judy Schachner. Skippy John Jones bounced up and down on his big boy bed. As he bounced, he said, Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones and I bounce with the best. No one dares cross me. I'll beat any pest. Then Skippy John began to dig through his toy chest. Out came a ball and a car. Finally, he found what he was looking for. For this one, I said toy chest, but you could also say toy box. Skippy John put on his cape and tied on his mask. Then he walked toward his closet. Inside, a snake hissed, a mouse squeaked, and Los Chimichangos waited for Skippy John. Ay, Skippito, said Don Diego, a purple chihuahua. It is good you are here. El Bumbobito has stolen our beans. In the longer version of this story, they add more Spanish words too. So here, instead of beans, you could say frijoles, which is Spanish for beans. Holy guacamole, Skippito Frisquito cried. We must get them back. Skippy John grabbed his sword and an oar, and off the muchachos went in his bed. Or boat. A bed boat. <laughs> El bumbobito is muy tricky. Muy is Spanish for very, Don Diego said. But Skippy John wasn't worried. There are eight of us and just one of him, Skippito Frisquito said, as the boat sailed down the river. Keep a lookout, peritos. At last, the muchachos reached an island. A trail of beans led away from the water. Vamanos, cried Skippito. Hurry up, let's go. Skippito and his amigos found El Bumbobito resting in a tree. Ay, Bumblebito, Skippito called out. Give Las Chimichangos back their beans. But El Bumblebito didn't hear him. He was asleep. Skippito quietly climbed up the tree. Then he began to pile the beans into his sack. Suddenly, El Bumblebito opened his eye. Skippy John grabbed the beans and raced down the tree. Las Chimichangos chanted, Skippito is a hero. But Skippy John just kept running. He was in such a hurry to get away that he crashed right into Mama Junebug Jones. Come on, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, Mama Junebug Jones said. Let's go get some dinner. I made beans. Have you ever read a Skippy John Jones story? They're really funny, and the longer versions are even funnier. They don't have the pictures in them like this one does. So this one is better for younger readers, but they add a lot of Spanish words and teach you a little bit of Spanish along the way. Peyton, when she was very little, had a stuffed animal that looked like El Bumblebito Bandito, and she was so afraid of it. It was really big. It was twice as big as her head. And she was so afraid of it that I had to hide it downstairs. But then as she got bigger and she got to like the Skippy John Jones stories, then she wanted to get it out of the basement and wasn't afraid of it anymore. So we still giggle about that. Thanks for joining me for a Skippy John Jones story and comment below if you'd like us to read more Skippy John Jones. I hope you have a great day. Catch more stories on Storytime TV. Bye! I hope you like this story. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for visiting Storytime TV.